Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. China Lover. But right now, we gotta talk about the Zenhai Revolution. The Zenhai Revolution, or the Zenhai Revolution, was a revolution over through China's last imperial dynasty, the Qing, and established the Republic of China. The revolution was named Zenhai because it occurred in 1911, the year of the Zenhai stem branch in the sexagenary cycle of the Chinese calendar. The revolution consisted of many revolts and uprisings, the turning point of the Wuqing uprising on October 10th, 1911. That was the result of the mishandling of the railway protection movement. The revolution ended with the abdication of the last Emperor Puyi on February 12th, 1912. That marked the end of over 2,000 years of Imperial China and the beginning of China's Republican era. In the name of the Empire versus the Repu Fight for the Republic, which I've already done as in this mod, without the sub-mod, but the, in this mod, the Qing Empire, which we're going to play as Fight for the Republic now. We could just delete this army and make it super easy, but I want to see what it's like, so... And let's see. So I've already done quite a few of these focuses, the advisory council. If you want to read about these, please go right ahead. I read this very at the time it's scoring relatively recently, so there's that as well. We also have done early industrialization, restore military production, pave the way for industrialization, central industrialization, central factories, southern industrialization, more infrastructure and whatnot. As well as southern factories as well. Central and southern factories. But I guess we're doing stand with a Tong Mengui for the revolution. And which, I, I, I put this on a historical. I'm not sure why, especially since we're going to go down this route. Because we're going to support the KMT, I believe, in this one. So nationalism, democracy, and unity. So we'll see what happens. And we're led by Li Yuang Hong. Oligarchic. Box Protocol. Payment of Indemnities and Xinhai Revolution. Not bad. And we'll split you in half. Um, no field marshal, say. Well, that's all right. Kai Yi, Yan Yi Shan. Take you, I'll take you. Oh, he does some cavalry as well. That's actually kind of nice. See what you can do. I don't, I don't want the horses. <clears throat> Go for Nanjing. Go as fast and as far as possible. Give up the revolution. Oh. The Qing army completely overwhelmed the Republicans. We have to spend a ride out now and look forward to the future. It's alright. Encircle them. Kill them off. And you know what? They only do the same thing. It's not with us. Go out. Go out. Go out. Find them and kill them. Spread out. Seriously, spread out. We should do okay. Oh! Holy crap! No, no, oh my goodness! Holy good fathers! Um, you know what? How about the front up here? Wow. Well, I kind of was expecting that since I have played as a Qing, I basically had to cheat to win as a Qing. So, yeah, this is a bit. Hmm. Russians abandoned the French. Oh, but then again, the Austrians also abandoned uh, the Central Powers. So, there is that as well. I would like some more command power. But, so we can get some new generals, but that's alright, I guess. <clears throat> Any more factories? Nice. Oh, oh, or just a factory. Alright. Not bad. Just take, like, just take all the tiles if you can. Comment side if you're about that, please go right ahead. Interesting phenomenon. All right, uh, army westernization. Uh, sure. Time and time again, our army has been shown to be inadequate for modern combat. Time to modernize. Because why not? Yeah, 62 divisions versus 32, and our guys probably have way more strength than the enemies. This is why I was okay with deleting enemy units when I played as a Qing. And I also want a lot more command power, too. Or uh, army XP, I should say. <clears throat> Come to Shanghai. South Pole Reach, very cool. Port equipment would be very good as well. Um, and I'll probably tr end up trying to play as the Qing again, but using a special sub mod now that I know where it is. Uh, that was created for the Great War Redux, in which is, is the mod, of course, that we're using for this campaign, so. Um, that's alright. Go here. 
Nice. Hey, young westernization. Appease the colonialists. We're going to make some sacrifices in the present in order to pay, for, pay the foreigners, but it will give us better standing with them. Something we need if we're going to seek investments. Pretty much. There you go. Why not? The yeah, overall, we're doing pretty darn well here. Except when we fight in the Eastern Asia, which is one of the worst areas to ever fight in, but whatever. Peking would be good to get. Go straight up if you can. This place is a pain in the butt to take out. Nice. I'll take him out. And then British manufacturers. If we're to get a prestige, we must put her beside her pride and seek help from those who have weakened us. Well, we'll see about that. He's gonna stay down here. It's fine. Oh. Alright then. Republic of China. Led by Wang Wen Wen Hao. Cool. Oh, Prince of Terror, anti Democrat, <clears throat> Quartermaster General. So I like selling workhorses. Let's just do. Uh, get some more guns. Get way more artillery. Balkan League. Any planes? No. We definitely gonna need some shippies. Oh boy. <clears throat> Led by nobody except Li Feng. They're repairing, which is fine. And then we'll do restore the nation. The Xenai Revolution's rock giant to its core almost do the part of men that are in repair. The nation? Sure. Why not? Support weapons? Sound pretty good to us, too. Um, more daily army speed might not be bad. We're so close to getting more political power. I want more political power. I'm a suck for political power. After restore the nation, support the KMT. Yeah. Replace the revolution and support the militarist plot. Oh. Oh, we get something out. Sen, a social democrat. You're not the opposition. Uh, daily democracy support, three principles. Oh, actually, you get political advisor cost goes down by 10%. Eh, grab that one, anyways. Cool. Not bad. Of course, there's not much we can really do about any of this stuff right now, so let's go and grab you. Tan Fang, the exact wrong guy we don't want. Do it again. Okay, Yang Fang is not bad. <clears throat> well, it's only 1912, and we already won. Mm, should we just border Korea, maybe? we got quite a few different types of divisions here. Jun Tuan is two. Three are exactly the same. Four. What about one? Oh, why is it all the way at the bottom? Um, let's just go to all, like, all infantry. Make it simple for us. Okay, maybe not. Let's just do it like this then. Whee! There you go. Support the KMT. Weekly war support. Oh, it goes, gets even worse. Oh, wait, what? Store of the nation is really good. Army corruption is pretty darn bad. We probably have a lot of inflation. Recovery after the revolution. Profit transfer. Revolutionary support. So that'll go away, and then we actually lose weekly war support. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. 1912, huh? Engineers would be pretty nice. <clears throat> well, then. Army logistics, entrenchment speed. Eh. If we're going to choose anybody, it'd be this guy, Huang Jing. Needs a little bit more command power, because this that helps us out quite a bit. Press monarchists. Yeah, I think you just gotta move through this route as fast as possible. As much as I wanna do this stuff. Move hyperinflation. It's not bad, not bad. Land reform. Pay off debts. United China would be very good. But maybe do party expansion next. 
all over China. Brilliant minds offer their support of the public. We only need to accept them. And accept them we shall. And actually with all these guys, I like the idea of ho the, using horses, so we'll do that too. Alright, so you can't become that guy yet. Dang it. You can do that. Emperor Maji's dead. Sun Yat Sen elected president. The revolutionary coalition was able to strengthen in China and elected president. Sun Yat Sen intends to complete the unification of China, but he may be hindered by the militaries who are preparing for a civil war in the country. New power in China. New civil war. Oh, God. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, you're not connected. Oh! Okay, that's very weird. Okay, then. Roosevelt survives in an assassination attempt. Very cool. Yeah, just stay around here, then. That'll be fine. We could improve working conditions. What else, what else can we do? Prince of Terror, Anti-Democrat, Armament, Army Offense, or Defense. Well, let's grab this other guy. Yeah, this guy's a little better. Militarist Plot. To side with the revolution, Yuan Shikai demanded Sun Yat-sen hand over the presidency, but Tong Mangui failed to keep their promise, so Yuan and his army think they got betrayed. If conditions are met, they, they may start a coup. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Three principles? Yeah, I pretty much have to do that immediately. Nationalism, democracy, and the livelihood of the people. By staying true to these, the Republic shall endure all. Which would be good to do, so. As Mamu is fast enough, that is actually really, really nice. Really quite nice. Start working on that stuff. Because these guys are not big enough. We don't need you. Actually, we're going to duplicate you. And say, Garrisons. Nice. Occupied stuff. Local autonomy. Party expansion. Three principles. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, there's solar building some stuff up here, too, which is very nice. 1.26 political power every single day is pretty decent as well. Social reformer. Well, I guess we are going that way, technically. Uh, daily democracy support. Replace governors. Oh. Xiao Bing Jun. Well, wait to choose somebody because we get uh, a reduction in cost. Second Russian Revolution. Hopefully I can show you this, because... Oh. Oh. You know, the opposition. As support grows to the Republic opposition, movements grow discontent with us. While undesirable, some of the proposals and reforms could suit the Republic well. Aligning them with their own interests by utilizing some of these suggestions will surely lead to prosperity. I was not expecting to see Bora 7 called here right now. Rider named Death. Wow. Standing alone. Very weird world. Hopefully World War One still fires, but there's no guarantee now, I suppose. Oh, we're on partial mobilization as well, which is not bad. Um, <laughs> Serbian Ottoman Empire. Wow, holy crap, they're snaking through there quickly. Mm. You know, I suppose we might as well get this get more stability, would be nice, but. <sighs> Defense, attack. No, I'm not going to go that way. Let's grab working conditions as well. And then we'll grab Mr. Social Reformer. Fight against separatists. The militaries are threatening the future of the Republic and must be dealt with. Holy crap, they just got rid of all the Turks there. Holy crap. I mean, there's still pockets of as you can tell, but like, holy crud. That was kind of intense. Really flipping intense, actually. More stability, please. So now, this is actually going down some more. Okay, so then I should grab this one. So now, it's not going down anymore. Whoa! Whoa!
Okay, suppress the monarchists. Chai, suppress monarchist desk. Since and begin anti military purges. The Republic of... Why is it red, white, and green? Edward Reynolds peas. Scramble for Africa. British Stoicism, which doesn't really represent this very well, but whatever. Especially since it went market socialism. Overextension. Holy crap. Uh, fleet at rest. Oh. Okay. And English staff. Well then, I was not... Have I ever seen this stream before? Have I ever played as them? Huh. They went with... Uh, did they go with a, a Fabian Ascendancy? I think they did. Dorse Marxism? Vanguardism? Social democracy? A Red Empire? Well, okay. Suppress monarchists. Because we love suppression here. Right, Dr. Sun Yat-sen? Nice. Oil production is very good, too. Where is your speed to be very nice? New commander. I want to promote this guy, though. Well, we're going to need it anyways, but give us a little bit more time first. Well, then. After that guy. Anti-Democrat... And Lu. Getting more daily army XP would be very nice. War propaganda would be good as well. Kind of want more war propaganda. But after suppressed monarchists, I think we'll probably go with economic stabilization. The chaos of the revolution has <clears throat> led to economic turmoil. Fixing this should be our first issue. Pretty much. Pretty much. Of course, we have 3,300 guns, no motorized, and a pretty good amount of artillery, so we're going to probably do this. Ooh, that's good town, sound like fun. I do that. Nice. Not bad. Cool. Only 2% off. German manufacturer purchase of ma machines. That would be bad to do, but this is going to be more important to do. Because army, the military, not the military, but everything's going to break. Sensing disunity among the leaders of the military, the monarchists, the president announced the suppression of the imperial plot. Birds will most likely be provoke governors to proclaim provincial independence. Tr time of troubles. National protection war. Resistance against the current government spreading across the country. It's moving escalating uprising on China's cross the river that cannot go back. National Protection War? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, chief of the Navy, huh? Well, that goes to restore the nation. Goodbye, China. Sun Yat Sen and his KMT monopolize all state authority. Some ones. Some ones, such as warlords who were loyal to the Qing dynasty in the past, but now loyal to the interests, rebelled and declared the overthrow of the Sun Yat Sen. Third time. Uh, consider the Republic of China as a civil war revolter. Well then. This is not good. Actually, does Biden govern the same focus tree? Zhu Shen. Yeah, they had the same one. Okay then, well then. I just wanted stability. I just wanted stability. Oh, we're out of command power to even do that, so. U.S. Declaration of Neutrality? Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, guys. We'll take all that stuff. Super peace. Probably was having a hard time that can't be overcome easily. Rather than having the KMT being able, able to stand up against it, would be rather step back now upon a good opportunity later? Oh, we'll see. War economy, though. Yep. I guess some Russians won. Of course, they were fighting against themselves, so we'll see what happens with this war. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We got a lot of divisions. Again, we don't have a few ourselves, so. In theory, we should have the same number, but there's no guarantee.
Jinan. And they have, you want to kill off, 1913. Um, well, closing off that pocket would be very good first. We're not winning in a lot of plays. I'll go down here first. Go, 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 cut him off. Nice, there you go. Now that's going to be good. Oh, there's a little bridge there. Well, I'm doing kill all these divisions off, so we'll see. Come on, guys. Oh, we got encircled? How? Get the heck out of there. Cancel them, at least. What's wrong with y'all? I'll pay off debts. I'll oh, go in about that, please go ahead. I'll uh, go in about land reform, please go ahead as well. Uh, invite military advisors. In order to ensure we can stand for the empires of the world, we must seek their assistance in modernizing. I guess we'll do that one, why not? Okay, go to, what the heck is going on here? What in the world, man? No, you didn't go. Oh, we lost the capital. God dang it. How do we keep getting encircled? My god, why can we not kill these divisions off? Because their division of military sucks. Uh, yeah, this is going to be frustrating. We lost a lot of guys. I know I'm not doing this war very well, but at the same time, I don't like this. Yeah, I might have to redo this war off screen just because this is not going very well for us. God, we got like no command power or anything. It sucks so much. Uh, as much as I like that, we're going to go this way. Don't worry, recovery rate. Recover faster. Force it. Oh my god, can you please just kill them off? Jesus Christ, why is it taking so long to kill these small few divisions? And send officers to military schools. It's necessary to adopt foreign training experience for officers or military military organization. The Chinese militias are just organized to combat this. We shall incorporate them into the army and train them to become effective combat units. Yeah, we could really, 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 really use that one first. Go in. Cut them off. What are you... What are you guys doing? Oh, you're going that way? Oh, that's kind of insane. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, we lost a division. Yeah, I'm losing a lot more divisions than... Oh, well. We might have less than them, but still. I'm not supposed to really do this off screen though. Take Nanjing. Get over there. So we get some supplies of this way too, so. You know, you do that and go around and kill them all that way. Hyperflation's gone, which is good. First flight across the Mediterranean. Across the Med, not bad. Um, anything else we could do here? Uh, logistics, special forces, attachment speed. Eh. Well, we're suffering a lot from attrition right now. Get some more propaganda. Ireland effects. All right. <clears throat> we got Nanjing back, which is great. There you go, nice. I'm in for joining the Central Powers, which is not unexpected. We need some more output immediately, though. Nice. Yeah, it's looking better down here, at least. Artillery, not quite. Guns, go to that. That one's first. That's fine, whatever. 
Um, oh, you guys go right here. So yeah, those few divisions out there for now, and we'll see what happens. We have 26 divisions, they have 33 max, so. Like them, killing our divisions, we've been killing their divisions quite, quite well, actually. Material organization, recover, uh, supply system. Arby cannot fight effectively as a result of the damage sustained to our infrastructure. Now that the economy is beginning to stabilize, we can direct some funding to solve the issue. Nice, that should absolutely help us out pretty, quite a bit actually. Go in there and circle that division, kill them off. Circle this division, kill them off. Free Bucharest, Mexico's killing itself, not bad, not bad. Holy crap, what is going on here? What is up with the AI and their, their funky way of just trying to manage their front lines? It's a very funky way. I'm doing this so poorly, man. <clears throat> Why are you all the way over there? Just go down here, guys. Force it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill them off. My god, come on. I don't care if it's mountains or not. Cool. Get a way more organization entrenchment. That's nice. I'll get that guy too, as he can. And non core manpower damage garrisons go way down. Uh, I'll get that guy. One. That guy would die. That guy would die. That guy would die. That guy should die too. Here, go to help him out here. Not bad. Cleaning, cleaning them up slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, well, there's almost so, so much for neutrality. But like I said, it's good for army XP. Nice. Head into there. Just do that really quickly. Should be fine. Mm. And unite provincial command. Regional warlords are taking control over their respective provinces. However, that's not to say we won't be able to sway them to our way of thinking. Nice. Very nice. Hong Kong. AIOC. Oh, I'm going to wait for some of these guys, actually. So we'll see. Help me out. Do that. Oh, come on, guys. Do not get encircled here. Gion. Oh, I'm holding. Yeah, save him, 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 save him. We're still building, huh? Nice, actually, we're doing quite well in building. Quite well, actually. I'm gonna go to Gion, Gion, Gion. Oh, anything here? Uh, we already have one guy doing that, so we don't need a second guy doing that. Go expert. For you. Oh, we can't promote him. Darn it. It's fine. Oh my goodness. Can you guys just please hurry up? There you go. Right there. Nice. Once that's done, we'll finish these guys off and it we should have, we should have the war one. We might have only three or five divisions, but they have less than ours, so. Do you have anything here? Oh, rest of oh, that'd be good to do. And offensive? Nice. Actually, you're level 3 now, which is awesome. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Circle, take all the territory. Take it all, take it all, take it all, take it all. 
Uh, I'll go and grab that one, sign. Any night, China. China's collapse. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'll do this one next. 35 day focus is pretty good. Nice. Even more, ten percent more defense. Sounds good to us. Look at this! Yay! Kill them off too. See, even with my poor management skills of this, we'll still do okay. One point four four every day is pretty good too. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna take every tile, which is gonna suck, but whatever. It's fine. Happy 1914, everybody. Uh, let's go with construction, maybe? Yeah. Support Corps? The Europeans have long since abandoned pure infantry corps. Infantry created support comps to increase combat effectiveness exponentially. Even more soft attacks, more max planning. Decent. Commando. I'm not really in special forces. Eh, go with that one, I guess. <clears throat> go that way. <clears throat> very good, very good, very good. Keep encircling them. Encircle, 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 and destroy. Anything else for this guy? Not really. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Two artillery. Artillery decides the outcome of the war in modern age. Might as well. Even though this is incredibly brutal and, you know, just like a lot of bitter fighting. Not bad. Not bad at all. Guys, just go here. You'll be fine as long as you move fast enough. You'll be more than fine. All right, take the horse, boy. Baking, baking. It is baking or baking. Love when we got some baking boys. Where's the capital now? Mukden. It would be Mukden. Franz Ferdinand's assassination. Well, looks like World War One's going to fire very soon. And we're going to just slightly explode. Slightly explode very heavily. European crest and no one cares. Uh, train engineers, many centuries ago, China was famous for its engineers and in, uh, invest inventors. We could claim our towers to our innovations in aircraft. Or we do this one, recover naval infrastructure. In order to store the fleet, must expand our naval industry. Yeah, we need some naval dockyards in all honesty, so we'll do that one first. So we need two divisions. Nice, good job, guys. With you two. Nice. We got ourselves in circle two, but what else is new? They refuse. Alright, here we go. And Austria is doing it by itself. But Serbia might be doing it by itself. Oh, Romania's in the Central Powers. Oh. Is it just 1v1? Wait, Austria. Germany has war goals against them, too. Oh. Alright, then. We'll see what happens. Um, engineers, stuff like that. Cool. Oh, hey, you going up there anyways? Zilo Gol? Zilo, Zilo and Gol? Gol? Oh, not really sure, but okay. Keep going. Y'all doing great. Oh, more factories, yay! Oh, the canal. Yanan. Yes, sir. We'll go with convoy rating efficiency. Why not? And let's come over here and do purchase of machines, nudging arsenal. Ah, purchase of machines. One of the best intentions of modernizing. We sort of lack the capability, so as a result of outdated equipment, the British have offered to sell some of their machines in order to revive our industries. 
Not a bad idea. Because we need way more stuff. Domestic aviation, Japanese manufacturer, German manufacturer. The Germans made great strides in weaponry. We must seek their help, of course. Why not? Good old convoy boys. Beautiful. I thought I'd use Khan's commands for this, but it's not too bad overall. A little hectic from time to time, but it's still not too bad. They're close to capitulating, but not that close. <sighs> Might be a bit extreme just seeing how much we have to actually conquer, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's not enough to really change stuff up too much here. It'll all be dealt with. German manufacturer, yes. And then... Eh, maybe Han Yang factories? Through our negotiations, the Germans were willing to open factories to produce weaponry. Why not? I know we're during war, we could get more military factories, but we're okay. We'll get there. Nice. Here, uh, build, like, stuff so we can get some more resources. That ain't much. Well, it definitely takes a lot of the stuff here. You're losing? Oh, you are looking pretty bad, but still. Hai Lung Kiang? And we should add them. This proves a lot of army XP for us, which is great. Even though we lost a lot of guys. It's alright. Oh, War Economy's got... They actually can just get rid of War Economy. Wow. We got like 7 trains and 114 trucks. Oh boy. After this one, Hanyang Factories... Sure. Then what? There's some partial mobilization, which isn't bad. Mouths would be nice, but... Actually... Eh, that's not bad either. Mm. So we do this one. Government divided. The unweak exists. Is that it for us? We're gonna be in the Warlord era. Guangxi exists. Oh. Maybe we should have done this one. Suppress monarchists. Oh. Oh! Well then. The Great War has... Okay then. Well, a little different with Romania being, I think, in the Central Powers and Italy being the Central Powers. And Russia's not at war either. Maybe they have the Ottomans in here. All right then. Well. This has ended up being slightly historical. Slightly. Government divided, huh? Yeah, well... Oh, United China as well. Constitutional Protection War. We need to be in the Warlord Era. Warlord Era has ended. Victory in the Great War. Um, China's Labor Corps? The British colonies are sorely in need of workers. If we offer to send some of our criminals to aid their efforts, it may lead to better cooperation between our nations. The Republic could uh, burn and get Chinese labor corps, which is not bad for them, but. We get some more stuff here, too, so. Alright, well. Don't know if we can send volunteers. No. Darn it. We need 30 divisions, and we definitely don't have that. Um, is, is that it for us? Is this gonna be a one off video? How about maturing industrialization? Most. And Manchuria remains farmlands and peasantry. Well, with sufficient investments. Well, we can, of course, change this. We'll see about that. Um, um, that's pretty strong. Oh, hello. Oh, even with Persia, too. Of course, they have the Entente over here, too. The ABC Conference. 
<clears throat> the eight. Oh. So it must be Argentina, Brazil, and Chile. I can count. Well then. Um, I have a feeling the Entente might lose, especially with Italy. I mean, on the side of the Central Powers this time through. The Germans are doing quite well, and this is a historical, so... Honestly, you never know, but... They did push into Verdun already. Verdun, Verdun. Verbunny, bunny, bun. Better reinforcement, maybe? Serbia is still holding on. The gear is the central powers. Northern Greece is demilitarized. Oh, they're not doing bad too here in the Suez area as well. This would be a little more concerning, but. Oh, they're also down here too. We might have completed everything we can here. Hmm. Going to do that train, maybe? Hunting Arsenal, we might as well do that one. And do that stuff too, because again. Because that'd be good to do. China's Labor Corps, Domestic Aviation. Or Manchurian Industrialization, yeah. We can change this. This would be a good one. The, the best one to do for us. Yeah. That would definitely be the best one for us to do. A couple days left, which is not bad. Build more civvies, though. And do we have all these cord? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like they're all cord. Followed up with uh, Manchurian factories. The farmers and peasants of Manchuria must do their part in aiding industrialization. Cooperation with the Dominions. British Dominions are now our friends. They're now our friends. And then domestic aviation. Despite all of our efforts, our air combat is something we're woefully inexperienced in. The British are willing to send us some of their fighters. Well, everybody, it's 1916. I've done a few more focuses on screens such as Japanese manufacture. Japan's rapid industrialization has seen great success, while our own navy's falling behind. It's time to change this. Fight against famine. While the nobility live in luxury, the peasants are starving. Efforts must be made to restore the civilian economy. These people will surely approve of this. Um, I don't think there's anything else for us. I mean, I think we pretty much accomplished what we wanted. A Republican China, or at least a Republican China. And which we should do okay. I mean, I've done some others such as Mao's contract. We managed to negotiate lessons of German weaponry, which should waste no time producing them, as well as modern staff. The Germans, especially Prussia, are renowned for the military. We should follow the example on education reform. Education is often unavailable for the peasantry. Strides must be taken to ensure that a greater majority of them will be able to learn in our great institutions. Which is great, but, I mean, we pretty much accomplished what we want. Suppress monarchists. We don't have United China as well. There's no victory in the Great War, and we need a constitutional protection war. Um. So, China's collapse. We don't have a government divided, so... Yeah, maybe we did that. This route, maybe, instead? Maybe not. Republican plot. But... Uh, uh, I'm not really sure. So we don't have any of this stuff to do down here, which does kind of suck, but... Hey, maybe eventually. So, I think I'm going to end it here. There's really nothing else for us to do. Uh, train engineers, of course. But, yeah. I mean, there's, we're just kind of hanging out and having a good old time. I could be wrong. We could have stuff to do, but... I don't think I am. And there's not really much that's been happening down here with you, you, well, Royalist Ireland. This is the last bastion of social conservatism in the Isles. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, the UK, or, or not the UK, Republic of Britain is doing okay. Germany's actually pushed in, and France, not much anymore. The Italians, I mean, it's just it's basically the grind fest of World War. What the heck's going on over here? And Russia is just kind of like. Nikolai, just leave us alone. Just leave us alone. Um, other than that... Ooh, we got naval invaded, huh? Not much of this is going on, and Portugal's still in a civil war. They're doing actually really well in Africa, which is actually kind of cool. Yeah, they will close off the Mediterranean, potentially, if they were to invade Gibraltar. But, I think that's pretty much it for a one-and-done video. Sweden's also in the Central Powers, too. But, hey, if you enjoyed the, the, the short campaign, the one video, also, America's in the all-time. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great Republic of China, Sun Yat-sen, rest of your day.